The National Maritime Museum NMM in Greenwich, London, is the leading maritime museum of the United Kingdom and may be the largest museum of its kind in the world. The historic buildings form part of the Maritime Greenwich World Heritage Site, and it also incorporates the Royal Observatory and 17th-century Queen's House. In 2012, Her Majesty the Queen formally approved Royal Museums Greenwich as the new overall title for the National Maritime Museum, Queen's House, the Royal Observatory, Greenwich, and the Cuddy Sark. The museum is a non-departmental public body sponsored by the Department for Culture, Media and Sport. Like other publicly funded national museums in the United Kingdom, the National Maritime Museum does not levy an admission charge, although most temporary exhibitions do incur admission charges. Creation and official opening The museum was created by the National Maritime Act of 1934 Chapter 43, under a board of trustees, appointed by H.M. Treasury. It is based on the generous donations of Sir James Caird King George VI formally opened the museum on 27 April 1937 when his daughter Elizabeth accompanied him for the journey along the Thames from London. The first director was Sir Geoffrey Callender. Topic collection Since earliest times Greenwich has had associations with the sea and navigation. It was a landing place for the Romans, Henry VIII lived here, the navy has roots on the waterfront, and Charles II founded the Royal Observatory in 1675 for finding the longitude of places. The home of Greenwich Mean Time and the Prime Meridian since 1884, Greenwich has long been a centre for astronomical study, while navigators across the world have set their clocks according to its time of day. The museum has the most important holdings in the world on the history of Britain at sea comprising more than two million items, including maritime art both British and 17th century Dutch, cartography, manuscripts including official public records, ship models and plans, scientific and navigational instruments, instruments for time-keeping and astronomy based at the observatory. Its British portraits collection is exceeded in size only by that of the National Portrait Gallery and its holdings relating to Vice Admiral Horatio Nelson and Captain James Cook, among many other individuals, are unrivaled. An active loans programme ensures that items from the collection are seen in the UK and abroad. Through its displays, exhibitions and outreach programmes the museum also explores our current relationship with the sea and the future of the sea as an environmental force and resource. The museum aims to achieve a greater understanding of British economic, cultural, social, political and maritime history and its consequences in the world today. The museum plays host to various exhibitions, including Ships Clocks and Stars in 2014, Samuel Pepys, Plague, Fire, Revolution in 2015 and Emma Hamilton, Seduction and Celebrity in 2016. The collection of the National Maritime Museum also includes items taken from the German Naval Academy Merwick after World War II, including several ship models, paintings and flags. The museum has been criticized for possessing what has been described as looted art. The museum regards these cultural objects as war trophies, removed under the provisions of the Potsdam Conference. The museum awards the Caird Medal annually in honor of its major donor, Sir James Caird. In late August 2018, several groups were vying for the right to purchase the 5,500 RMS Titanic relics that were an asset of the bankrupt Premier Exhibitions. Eventually, the National Maritime Museum, Titanic Belfast and Titanic Foundation Limited, as well as the National Museums Northern Ireland, joined together as a consortium that was raising money to purchase the 5,500 artifacts. The group intended to keep all of the items together as a single exhibit. Oceanographer Robert Ballard said he favoured this bid since it would ensure that the memorabilia would be permanently displayed in Belfast where the Titanic was built and in Greenwich. The museums were critical of the bid process set by the bankruptcy court in Jacksonville, Florida. The minimum bid for the 11th of October 2018 auction was set at $21.5 million, .5 million pounds, and the consortium did not have enough funding to meet that amount. The site The museum was officially established in 1934 within the 200 acres (0.81 square kilometers) of Greenwich Royal Park in the buildings formerly occupied by the Royal Hospital School before it moved to Holbrook in Suffolk. 
These buildings had previously been occupied by the Royal Naval Asylum before it was incorporated into the Greenwich Royal Hospital School. It includes the Queen's House part of the historic park and palace landscape of Maritime Greenwich, which was inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1997 and the Royal Observatory, Greenwich, which was an active scientific institution until the 1950s, when it was removed to Hurst Monza Castle and became known as the Royal Greenwich Observatory. The gardens immediately to the north of the museum were reinstated in the late 1870s following construction of the cut and cover tunnel between Greenwich and Mays Hill stations. The tunnel comprised part of the final section of the London and Greenwich Railway and opened in 1878. Flamsteed House 1675 the original part of the Royal Observatory, was designed by Sir Christopher Wren and Robert Hooke and was the first purpose-built scientific institution in Britain. In 1953, the old Royal Observatory became part of the museum. Flamsteed House, was first opened for visitors by Queen Elizabeth II in 1960. The 17th-century Queen's House, an early classical building designed by Inigo Jones, is the keystone of the historic park and palace landscape of Maritime Greenwich. All the museum buildings have been subsequently upgraded. A full redevelopment of the main galleries, centering on what is now the Neptune Court, and funded by the Heritage Lottery Fund, was completed in 1999. The Queen's House was refurbished in 2001 to become the heart of displays of art from the museum's collection. In May 2007 a major capital project, Time and Space, opened up the entire Royal Observatory site for the benefit of visitors. The £16 million transformation features three new modern astronomy galleries, four new time galleries, facilities for collections conservation and research, a learning centre and the 120-seat Peter Harrison Planetarium named after the major donor, Peter Harrison designed to introduce the world beyond the night sky. In 2008, the museum announced that Israeli shipping magnate Sami Ofer, had donated £20 million for a new gallery. Topic. Directors of the National Maritime Museum 1937–1946 Jeffrey Callender 1947–1966 Frank George Griffith Carr 1967–1983 Basil Jack Greenhill 1983–1986 Neil Cossens 1986 to 2000 Richard Lewis Orman CBE born 1939 2000 to 2007 Rear Admiral Roy Clare born 1950 2007 to present Dr Kevin Fuster Topic Caird Medal The Caird Medal was instituted in 1984 to mark the 50th anniversary of the National Maritime Museum Act of 1934 that established the museum. The medal is awarded annually to an individual who, in the opinion of the trustees of the National Maritime Museum, has done conspicuously important work in the field of the museum's interests and is of a nature which involves communicating with the public. The medal is named for Sir James Caird (1864–1954), the principal donor at the founding of the National Maritime Museum. The award of the medal is associated with the Caird Lecture, a public lecture presented by the recipient, which is usually published after the lecture. Topic: The Caird Medalists. 1984: Eric McKee. 1985 Michael S. Robinson 1987 Jules Van Balen 1989 C. R. Boxer 1990 Helen Wallace 1991 John F. Coates and John Sinclair Morrison 1992 Richard Allard 1993 Gerard L. E. Turner 1994 Glyndur Williams 1995 Margaret Rule 1996 John de Courcy Ireland 1997 Felipe Fernandez Armesto 1998 Ellie Decker 1999 Elizabeth Mann Borghese 2000 John Hattendorf 2002 Robert Ballard 2004 Sir David Attenborough 
2005 Paul Kennedy 2006 David Armitage 2007 Martin Rees, Baron Rees of Ludlow 2010 Willem F. J. Mortzer Brines 2011 Daniel A. Baugh 2014 R. J. B. Knight Other British Maritime Museums The National Maritime Museum Cornwall is a fully independent museum, a development of the original FIMI Falmouth International Maritime Initiative partnership created in 1992 and the result of collaboration between the National Maritime Museum, Greenwich and the former Cornwall Maritime Museum in Falmouth. See also Greenwich Visitor Centre List of London museums National Maritime Museums List of similarly named museums National Waterways Museum — the UK's National Museum of Inland Waterway Transport Nederlands Sheepvart Museum — Netherlands Maritime Museum National Historic Fleet Britain and the Sea